Hey guys, it's Brian back for another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing a 260 gallon tank at my dad's house. So, yeah. Um, basically in here I have a, I can't even count how many anemones I have in here, because it's like, it's a lot. I got some Florida Accordias, these two jacks, two nasal tanks, uh, Cuban hogfish, uh, 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 Maroon uh, clownfish and uh, cardinals, uh, marine beta. He's actually one of my favorite fish. And uh, hmm, oh yeah, the multiple species of wrasses. Wrasses. Uh, you can see one back there. <coughs> um, and uh, yeah, and my favorite coral is, is definitely this one. And um, so yeah. Uh, this is pretty much it. Uh, it's 260 gallons, and uh, yeah. And as you can see here, something really cool. I have had these anemones for like the longest time, like almost a year and a half. And they've grown a lot since then. So yeah, and there was a little baby here, like right next to that that those shells. It was a little baby. Uh, an enemy, so I don't know what happened to it, but it was there. Sorry about that, I had to cut for a second. I've also got a purple tang in here, forgot to mention that. <coughs> so, yeah, and as you can see down under here, I'm gonna just sneak the camera under here. That's the tank uh, that I had my <coughs> my clownfishes in, but it's not good enough. I can get this open. It was overtaken by algae, and I still have some clownfish in there. But I used to have uh, another pair, a different pair, which is this one that you see right there, and another one. But you had to take them out because this algae right here, the green algae, it overtook the whole tank. Like there was no swimming space. But we cut it a little bit and we got new, new ones. So, yeah. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a like. And if you want to see more of my content, be sure to subscribe. See you guys later.